Did you spit or swallow? <laughs> <laughs> Do tell. I think I spit then. <laughs> I didn't swallow. <laughs> you gotta embrace something else? Yeah. <laughs> it packs a bitter punch on the end. Does it? Almost too much going on. Wait a second, what's a big tug? Like... <laughs> Like you're tugging the. You ever hurt. tug on anything? <laughs> you ever tug on something? It's a big tug. <laughs> stupid though. It's stupid, yes. I think you're more familiar with big jugs. Yes. Well, yeah, I'd say, <laughs> I'd say you're equally familiar with big tugs <laughs> when you see big jugs. So maybe I can hit him up and, you know, see what Daddy O likes. Hi everyone. I'm Janet. I'm Jason. We're Combo Mud. Mud. We're here. For Dark Beer. And today we have some big tugs. <laughs> no? Oh, no. It's, no. It's, it's big hugs. <laughs> no, we have big jugs. Big jugs. There you go. Big tugs, big jugs. <laughs> we have <laughs> big hugs. <laughs> Big hugs. Big hugs to you, yeah, our exactly. wonderful YouTube subscribers. Big um, hugs. Big hugs, big hugs. Now it's big hugs. God, we're all over the place with this. I love me some hugs. Not big yeah. ones, but I love me some hugs. Yeah. Okay, anyway. From, from 120 Acre Brewery? Back on track. No, no, I don't even know what it is now. <laughs> half acre. Half acre. I'm like one acre, half acre. No, it's just half acre. It's just a tiny little half acre brewing. Okay, Jesus. <laughs> it's Half Acre Brewing Company yes. bringing us Big Hugs, a 10% yes. Imperial coffee stout. Yeah, uh, Big Hugs is uh, a staple um, beer for Half Acre Brewing out of Chicago, Illinois. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's one of the ones they first started with 11 years ago, and so uh, they do some variations here and there. But uh, it's one of their one of their staple beers, so I can't wait to try it. 10 percent. Yes. Yeah. I'm super excited. I, yeah. if you know me or know our channel and my history, I'm a Chicago gal, yeah. so I'm not familiar with this brewery. They're um, fairly new to the scene, yeah. at least before I uh, transitioned from Chicago to California. So. Yeah. Um, Anyway, a little bit about the beer itself. Um, it is a Imperial Coffee Stout, which I mentioned, featuring red wine yeast from Dark Matter Coffee, which has several um, locations throughout Chicago. Yeah. Uh, so they have put it in in both the concentrated form and liquid form. Um, uh, liquid form obviously speaks for itself, and yeah. then the concentrated form uh, being the whole bean yeah. infused into the beer. Yeah. So we're supposed to get a coffee forward, dark cocoa, smooth, creamy beer. And then besides this uh, particular version, they have vanilla Big Hugs mm. and the bourbon barrel version of Big Hugs. Yeah, um, we definitely like coffee beer. So yes. for them to infuse it, not only liquid, but a whole beans, mm -hmm. this, should, this should be interesting. Hopefully it has a good good coffee yes. flavor to it. Um, yes. Yeah, so Gabrielle Magliaro, mm -hmm. uh, the owner there and founder, uh, founded in 2007. So uh, he's been doing a 15 barrel brew house uh, there on Lincoln Avenue mm -hmm. in Chicago, which is it's not too far from Wrigley Field. Um, Maybe 10, 10 to 15 blocks, but not too yes. far there uh, in, in the north, north side of Chicago. North side. North side neighborhood, yeah. And uh, then he opened another brewery. Mm -hmm. And between both breweries, there are four, 45,000 barrels annually that they brew, which is, that's a lot. Yeah. You know, crazy um, number. Crazy number. And in 2019, Craft Beer and Brewing Survey uh, voted them uh, number 10 for mid sized breweries. So, um, a lot of accolades, um, yes. so that bodes well for this beer, hopefully, mm -hmm. right? Definitely. Yeah. yeah. And uh, the, the Lincoln Brewery there, like I said, is not far from, from Wrigley Field. They, mm -hmm. they opened that in 2008. And uh, they got all the equipment from Colorado and drove it down, which, as you know, Colorado is one of the leaders in mm -hmm. craft beer and uh, had just have, they have a ton of breweries there. So um, back in 2012, they actually uh, 
push push that Lincoln Brewery to the limit and had to open a new one um, because they were so busy, which is great, which yeah. bodes well again. Exactly. This is a good beer, right? Right. So yeah. 2015, they introduced their second location. It's the Balmoral Brewery, which spans 60,000 square Crazy. feet of interior space. Yeah. Uh, and then they have a, an outdoor beer garden, which they don't specify the uh, right. square footage of that, but just, uh, you know. Yeah, so they basically went from 13,000 square feet to 60. Right. Uh, so between the breweries, you know, you get you know, so close to 75,000 square feet. Mm -hmm. And that brewery, it's, it's interesting, it's not too far right. from Lincoln, they're right? Both, it's just north. They're, north both, there. they're both north side, um, yeah. you know, Chicago location. So. And not too far apart. So uh, it bodes well, for uh, once again, for it being popular and mm -hmm. and good. So hopefully uh, this beer is good. And then, once again, love the can. Yes. Uh, for a stout to have all the funky colors and Yeah, super and fun. Super fun, mm -hmm. yeah. I love it. Yeah. We scored this at... Um, San Diego. Bottlecraft. Oh no, Bottlecraft. Yes. Yeah. Yes. In Sorrento Valley. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And saw it and could, like, wow, this looks good, so good in 10%. Yeah. And yeah. the can pops again. Big time. For, for stout drinkers, you kind of get in the, the pattern of seeing, you know, all cans that kind of look alike. They have, you know, stout colors dark right colors, yeah. dark black uh tans brown so yeah. this definitely speaks to you yeah you ready mm -hmm. let's try it i can't wait i've been wanting to try this one ever since we bought it you know which has only been like a couple weeks so yes i'm gonna let you pour it okay yeah love the colors uh the can just stands out so much and definitely uh, um anytime i think a lot of these breweries do variations of a certain beer um, usually it's a, it's a fan favorite. Exactly. So uh, we expect a lot and they've been brewing this for 11 years. And so they adjust it by using different coffees, here, you know, mm -hmm. every year to kind of change it up and do something different. So, yeah. Wow. That's light. Yeah. It looks light for 10%, huh? It does. Yeah. Very light. I and mean, this is looking cola-ish yeah, right be now. Beige head. Um, yeah. Not too much lacing or anything, but. No. Yeah. Yeah, interesting, huh? Yeah, it's a coffee. Hopefully, it's not the bitter coffee. Hopefully, it's the sweet coffee. I'm getting some aromatics already. A little bit. Yeah, a little so bit. Yeah, that's that's good. Hopefully. Yeah. Um, so so for aroma, uh, sorry, aroma. So for appearance, mine dissipated like lickety slit. Right. And looked light. It looked like a six percent. It does. Yeah. yeah. Um. As I poured it, very light. Now that right. it's in, you know, as usual, it darkens up. But yeah. You know, not much head, really no lacing. No, um, didn't leave any lacing on my Tiny at bubbles all. for the carbonation, but yeah. ten, it definitely poured light. For 10%, yeah. it's, it's lacking a lot of 10% characteristics yeah. for me. So I'm going to start with a 3.5 okay. on appearance. Um, yeah. You know, you're getting up there with a 10, and yeah. this is not not quite measuring up so far yeah i'm gonna give it an average three mm -hmm. because it was it was really light um mm -hmm. and just the head and no lacing head dis dissipated quickly in the head pretty much gone so mm -hmm. so i'll get i'll give it an average uh for a three you know a three so okay uh, aroma I, I smelled something too when you started pouring it but um mm. i don't smell anything now what okay sweetness okay dark fruit a little bit of chocolate, a little bit of coffee. Okay. Maybe a little brown sugar. And that's it for me. It smells good though. I like it. There's no dark fruit in my hugs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well. You like it? You've got to embrace something else. Yeah. Yeah. I'm getting the dark fruit. Mm -hmm. It's always, it's like always it forward too. For the you. Dark, yeah. The dark fruit's always forward. It's going to always be forward to you. Because well, this is supposed to be coffee. Like it's double infused coffee which i call like liquid no and double infused vanilla no coffee yeah they did uh they no. did they did liquid coffee and they did the coffee oh you're bean. right i thought they were talking about a vanilla bean no coffee and bean you're right i'm sorry yeah that's great My yeah they mistake. did they you're did right. they did it li liquid and coffee you're bean. Right. so i was expecting like a lot of coffee flavor and mm -hmm. i'm getting the dark fruit now it's not too strong it's not bad it smells really sweet to me. But that's what I get when well, you're getting the fruit sweetness. So you're getting a cavity. <laughs> wow. so, so what do you give aroma? I like it. Um, okay. I, I'm not getting really any coffee. So no. I'm going to go down to no. a four for that reason. But wow. I do like I do like what I'm getting. Yeah. Um, you know, it smells kind of, I guess, 
uh, if you had a heavily sweetened or flavored coffee drink where maybe it kind of overcomes the coffee aspect and you're just getting like the sweetness. Yeah. I've um, never had that in any coffee. Even I don't drink a lot of coffee, but when I do, you always get a coffee smell. It's so, always a coffee aroma. Always. Yeah. It's yeah. so sweet to me. So yeah. it's going to be interesting. Even iced coffee. Like if you've ever gotten iced coffees and they yeah. put all the sweetener in it and whatever, you smell it, it smells like coffee. It does. Yeah. Always. I don't get no coffee. So I gave it a 2.5. It's below average for me. I'm the dark fruit is very prominent. It's mm -hmm. not, it's not too bad. That's all I'm getting. And then, like you said, a little bit of the sweetness, which I think comes from the dark fruit, but that's it. So, uh, taste 10%. Okay. I know. Here we go. <laughs> I was expecting a ton of coffee and I don't get any, which is crazy. Like none. So, and dark matter coffee I hear is really good. Okay. There in Chicago. So it's, I'm definitely getting coffee on the taste. Is it bitter or sweet? It starts off sweet and, and kind of <laughs> packs, <Get you. laughs> packs a bitter punch on the end. Does it? Um, this is very, uh, very complex. There's a lot going on here. So let me have another sip before I... Ooh. Mm. Yeah, it's acidic. Wow. Very acidic, like a, like a, cap like a espresso. Wow. Very acidic. Dark matter. That's the dark matter. I guess. Yeah. Which um, you're from Chicago. I, I've only visited Chicago. I like they have certain pizza they like. Maybe maybe this is the kind of coffee they like there in Chicago. It's not sweet. It's bitter and it's strong and acidic. I can tell you pizza places all day long, but I'm not a <laughs> coffee drinker. My yeah. father is, so maybe I can hit him up and you know see what Daddy O likes. But right. Um, yeah, it's it's a, a super potent acidic strong Ooh. brewed coffee um yeah it's almost like a double espresso to me except it's um it seems to be more acidic like in a dark uh, double espresso with fruit in it is what i'm getting and it's so acidic man Ooh. it is very acidic wow yeah and uh, dark fruit adds acidity too so yeah, there you go. between coffee being acidic Dark beer is acidic, and then you add yeah. fruits. All fruits are acidic. Yeah, it's a uh, it's a trifecta. <laughs> well, it's an imperial coffee stout, and coffee. There's a range of coffee. It is coffee. It's not the coffee I like. It's bitter coffee, acidic coffee, but it is coffee. So yeah, it's it's a acidic trifecta. <laughs> so what do you give taste? Um, I am going to go with a. Th three on taste okay. um just uh, almost too much going on yeah it's super carbonated yeah. it's super dark it's sweet but it's bitter it's acidic um just a little too much for me you know uh, one of those again like if they just went in a certain direction and yeah. you know went with that i think it would be more up my alley but yeah yeah so not not quite what i like and look for in darks yeah i give it a two only because it's not my kind of coffee i think this is like a double or triple espresso kind of coffee because those do do get acidic from what i know mm -hmm. i've only tried a double espresso maybe one time and it was so bad i couldn't take it <laughs> i don't think i've ever tried a triple like i it, the double would like just freaked me out because it was so so bitter do you spit it out uh, i don't think i did because i you know espressos are small so i just took like did you spit or swallow <laughs> <laughs> do tell i think i spit then <laughs> i didn't swallow oh, God. If you put it in those terms, <laughs> but it was, it was obviously, it was super bitter and super acidic. That's what this tastes like, which I would think certain people that like certain kind of coffees like that would love this beer. It's a Imperial coffee stout, but it's, it's, it should say espresso or double or triple espresso on it for me, I think, because it's not sweet at all. It doesn't really taste like coffee. I get no coffee aroma at all. At all. I just get this bitterness and dark fruit so anyway i give it a two okay okay <laughs> so what about uh texture it's a 10 percent it is a 10 percent um it's light look how light that is you can see the bottom of the glass yeah it's really light it's very spritzy very carbonated mm -hmm. um definitely lacking in the texture yeah department yeah. um 
I, it's sticky. I'll give them that. Yeah. I, I'm, you know, there's definitely a lot of sweetness. I, yeah. I get it more on the nose than I do on the taste, but it's in there, yeah. and I'm getting it obviously in the mouth feel and the sticky corners of my right. mouth, which could be the dark fruit. Right. Exactly. You know, the sugars. In so, it, so the stickiness is there. The sweetness is there, but the body itself should be way more, um, you know, thick yeah. for a 10%. So yeah. I'm going to go with a 3.5 on okay. texture. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to give it a 2.5. I think it's below average. Um, we've had uh, a couple of Chicago beers and this might just be the flavors, you know, <clears throat> that, uh, people in Chicago like. I know here in San Diego and Southern California, um, there's there's a lot of beers that um, we just love because that seems to be what everyone likes, mm -hmm. right? And so this kind of does remind me of the other Chicago beers we've had as far as the acidity and the bitterness. So maybe that's what they like. Are you uh, trying to say we're bitter? No. Us Chicagoans are bitter people, bitter, nasty no, people? No, not at all. You just like, maybe like bitter coffee, like espresso coffee instead of sweet. Maybe, I don't know, but it does remind me of that. So that's why I gave it a 2.5. Uh, it doesn't taste like a 10%, it doesn't look like a 10%. I wouldn't think this was an 8% or a seven. It, it, it tastes pretty light. So um, there's not much body to it at all. So that's why I give it a yeah. average, yeah. I would think that if I just, you know, a blind taste test, yes. I would probably say it was a seven. Maybe, right? Se yeah, seven probably tops. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's super, super light. Yeah. So what about finish? Um, on to the finish, I'm going to stick with a uh, 3.5, just really, you know, middle of the road, slightly above average. Uh, it's okay. I don't have, I don't have b a bad taste, uh, yeah. despite its bitterness aspects. I'm not really, I'm not left with an overwhelming sense of bitterness. Um, it's just th the sweetness and... Just, you know, kind of, yeah. like I said, just very, everything's misplaced and going in too many directions. Yeah. Um, so 3.5. 3.5. I gave it a 2.5. I almost gave it a three, mm -hmm. um, but it does uh, linger a little bit. And the bitterness is, is not as bad on the finish. It does finish a little bitter. It's not as strong as the taste. So I don't mind it as much. Um, I want to give it a three, but I just couldn't because it does finish that little bitterness and it lingers a little bit. Mm -hmm. So that's that's why I gave it a 2.5. So it's just just not my beer. So This one's tough. Like as yeah. soon as I bring it up, I like the way it smells. Yeah. And then the smells don't quite, uh, yeah. you know, translate through the other category. So yeah. the smell is, is pretty nice and inviting to me, but then okay. it gets lost as yeah. the categories go. So a yeah. little disappointing. It's, it, their, their aroma is definitely disappointing for me because if for a coffee beer, I want to smell coffee and I don't want to smell any coffee mm -hmm. aroma. So, you know. So Janet, what do you give big hugs? <laughs> Not big tugs, big hugs from Half What's, Acre Brewing Company. Wait a second, what's a big tug? Like... <laughs> Like you're tugging the... Like a tugboat. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's called jerking, not tugging. I don't know. I don't, you keep saying tugs. I've never heard that. What's a tug? I mean, you I've ever heard... tug on anything? <laughs> you ever tug on something? It's a big tug. <laughs> stupid, though. It's stupid, yes. <laughs> what happened to big jugs? <laughs> big jugs, too. <laughs> I think you're more familiar with big jugs. Yes. Well, yeah, I'd say, <laughs> I'd say you're equally familiar with big tugs when you see big jugs. There you go. That'd be a good name for beer. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah. back to the focus, which is big hugs from Half Acre Brewing Company. I am giving this beer a 3.5 out of 5.0. Um, there's a lot that I love. I love it's from my hometown. Um, I love the can, especially. I love the aroma. Um, just kind of fell short in the other categories yeah. for me. But I'm not getting, I'm not getting anything bad. I'm just missing, you know, what's described in the right. beer. Like, 
a lot of times that happens for me in yeah. particular. Um, it's a little bitter and it is specifically described as a coffee stout, which um, the coffee was missing from mine. <laughs> so yeah. that's a little disappointing, but I look forward to other uh, half acre beers. It's, uh, I'm, I'm not familiar with that brewery, so this was um, a first time trying that beer, which I love to do. And next time I'm in Chicago, I'm gonna be visiting. Yeah, definitely. Yes. Definitely love to go visit both locations. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I give it a 2.5, definitely not my beer. Um, it is bitter, I don't get any coffee aroma. The taste, is, like I said, it's almost like an espresso, double espresso, triple mm -hmm. espresso taste. It's just really bitter. But you get no coffee aroma at all. I at least want coffee aroma. I love a coffee aroma and a coffee beer. And we get none, so. I do too. Yeah. None of that, and everything you said, plus it's a 10% and it doesn't taste like a 10%. I would taste like a 6% to me or something. Mm -hmm. So so anyway, yeah, I gave it a 2.5. So combo med total is a three. So average between us um, for big hugs. And I love the name. Yes. Like, yes. I'm a hugger. Yeah. So like, I love, I love that name. And mm -hmm. like I said, I love the can. Um, I like the story of how you guys got started. Like there's yeah. a lot that I love, so. Yeah, and I definitely like to try the vanilla and even the bourbon barrel, I think would obviously be sweeter mm -hmm. for the bourbon barrel. Um, the vanilla it depends on if they add some sweetness to the vanilla or exactly. it could even be more bitter. Yeah. So who knows? Uh, but I definitely like to try it. I'd love to try this on draft to see if it is just as bitter or if some of the coffee aroma is kind of gone when you can it and it sits for a while compared to when you uh, get a fresh batch. Mm -hmm. but, but anyway, yeah, Gummo Med Review is a three for big hugs from really? Half Acre Brewing. So yeah. yeah, three. Yeah, average. So check them out there in Chicago, uh, both locations there in North Chicago. And uh, let us know what you think if you've had it, uh, um, any variations that you've had. Yeah, let us know. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And we are on Instagram, it's yep. Gumbo Mud, M-U-double D, and we always put a post out when we release new YouTube videos, and then we have extra extra content along the way, and we do some giveaways too, so make sure you follow us there and subscribe on YouTube. Yeah, yeah, follow us on, follow us on Instagram, uh, uh, click and share. Uh, this video with everyone that you know, anyone that likes beer, and uh, <laughs> and uh, click the subscribe button for more dark beer reviews. Uh, we have a lot more to come, so and many Chicago beers if we can find, you know, here in San Diego. So yeah. Yes, and if you know of a just bomb Chicago beer that I would love, being a Chicago girl. Dark. Yes, dark. Stouts, yeah. If that's Porters. not a given, but yeah, please. Yeah, let us know. Please uh, comment, mention it to us, or. Send it to us. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I'll share my address. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you. Yeah. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.